here we are at Mildura. You can see the wind is absolutely blowing a gale. They've got gale warnings all over the state today. The first day of our ride up to Mertwinji National Park. And uh, <laughs> we're loaded after all the anxieties yesterday of getting the bikes together, getting them up here safely. And, uh, kilometers in our first puncture. <laughs> oh, we're off to a flying start. Well, this is really getting seriously windy now. So we've got a full-on dust storm over here. We're riding right into the wind. We got to Wentworth yesterday, it was hard. Squalls, incredible winds. So we're feeling pretty tired. And there we go, that's where we've got to go. How's it going there, champ? Oh, it's the first time putting this this up, so it's a bit of a unknown quantity. You got the instruction manual? Ah, uh, never again. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, we're right out in the desert now. It's um, yeah, it's been great because we've passed some. I think oh, maybe about ten or fifteen k's coming out of Wentworth. We saw our first sand dune, and yeah, it's just really beautiful. So. So yeah, this is the first night camping on our bike ride. So this is the beginning of the 120 odd kilometre stretch to from Poonkeri or Poonkeri to Manimbi. This is the adventure bit and um, yeah it's quite interesting these sand bits are um, very wobbly. <laughs> to take out one of the poles and my back went <coughs> it's just handling the bike when you stopped putting it down lifting it up I can't do that well, I just spoke to a farmer just before we had brekkie and uh, he was telling us that uh, tomorrow is anticipating gale force winds and um, maybe 30 points, 20 to 30 points of rain which would sort of make this road just impassable. So um, we're not quite sure what to do. What a day! How many kilometres have we done? Oh I think it's um, coming close to 60 I think. Yeah about 67. <clears throat> oh boy. Well 
How far away from Nindi? About 25 k's. 25 k's? Yeah, k's. so Let we... Let me a doddle. Let me a stroll in the morning. Interesting to see what the weather, weather is actually like. about 5.30 in the morning and we're doing a fairly rapid pack up. Oh, yeah. Well, after our concerns of the early morning it's turned out to be an absolutely beautiful dawn. And the, the wind has really picked up, There's a lot of dust on the road, a lot of dust in the air and uh, making headways <laughs> is not all that easy. at this for what an hour, an hour and a half? An hour and a half and probably only covered about 600 metres. Another two case the road. Is this serious? Is this serious? just spent the last three hours pushing our bikes through the hardest, blueiest, stickiest dirt I've ever experienced. Fell over in the dust storm. Injury? 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 Yeah, looks pretty close. We got through. And the bikes work. Gears work, brakes work, wheels go round in circles. This is what we're not in. I don't know whether you can see it, but it is just bucketing out down there. Well, at this point, it's the end of the adventure part of the trip. 
in the recycling part of the trip anyway. Because we've got too many knee pulls leaving early. So he'll come and pick us up in two days' time. But the bikes are just covered in cement like mud. And we're absolutely exhausted. We could go into Broken Hill, but we need a day off, and by the time we've done that, Paul will be here, so.